Alright, if y'all read the title, you already know what we're doing today. This is going to be a frontal ponytail. A lot of people wonder, what's the purpose of a frontal ponytail if the client already has good hair, good edges? Well, she's going to prom today and to create that fuller and dramatic look instead of doing a whole wig it's best to just use a frontal she is relaxed and in my opinion the frontal ponytail does look way better on relaxed hair and all i'm doing is just getting the hot comb and making it even more straight and just pressing out the kinks Once you have everything straightened out, you can go ahead and take some Gots to Be spray or any holding spray or spritz of your preference and you're going to open up the hair like you see me doing and just spray all on the inside. This is going to create like a bonding type of thing. I don't really know how to explain it in words, but once you start to, you know, put your ponytail together, it's going to form way easier and you want to make sure you're using a small fine tooth comb. It's optional if you want to use your blow dryer on heat or on cool. I personally use warm slash heat because it just gives it that extra hold. It makes it extra hard. Not crunchy hard, but the type of hard that I like. But it's all your preference. It's all what's comfortable for you. It's all what's comfortable for your client. By the way, this is a HD lace. This is the name that they use now. Originally, it was just a transparent lace. That's what they were called, but now everybody uses this HD term. I've posted the same exact material on my channel about two and a half months ago. And like I said, it was just called a transparent lace, but I personally like this lace when it comes down to special occasions such as prom, such as weddings, photo shoots, where you're gonna be on camera. This is a flash proof lace and it's just flawless like once it's done and it's applied correctly it's flawless and just follow these steps if you want me to do a more detailed video comparing laces and the different materials i will if you want me to just comment down below and let me know and as you can tell i'm using the same glue from my last few videos the super bond and the way you'll know it's dry is if it's not pulling away like gum if it's tacky and it's still sticky it's perfect if it's pulling away when you tap it like gum it's not ready and what you want to do is go ahead and cut in a zigzag motion you're never going to cut straight across if you cut straight across it's going to give you a wig look It's not always necessary that you use a cap underneath your wigs and in this case it's really not necessary and I'm not doing it as you all can tell already I've already applied the glue and what I'm what I did with the glue was went a little bit above her hairline and that's exactly where the frontal is going to go. Take the blow dryer and use it on warm or on heat to give it that extra melt. Once you do that, you can move on to the sides. Once you have it measured and you know exactly where you're going to apply it, you can go ahead and cut the lace off.
just look at how well that looks up against her skin and I'm a perfectionist when it comes down to my work so this little shiny piece of glue I'm going to go ahead and take some alcohol and scrub 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 that off it's really easy just make sure you're holding the lace down as you're using the alcohol and just proceed with applying the other glue until it's dry and finish your lace sleigh. Once you have the lace laid down, you're going to do the same exact steps. Take the blow dryer on warm and melt it down. Give it that extra melt. Just go ahead and repeat the same thing, the same steps on the opposite side until your whole frontal is completely applied. Now we're going to go ahead and focus on the baby hair. And once you form those baby hair, you're going to wrap them down and move on to the next step. Since this is a ponytail and we're trying to mimic actual human hairlines, you're going to cut back the baby hair further. Once everything is molded down and dry, you're going to take that same fine tooth comb and comb it out and then you're going to start to pluck because this hairline is still too thick. It still does not look as natural as it can look and as it should be. So you're going to just pluck until it looks natural to you. Like I said, you want this ponytail to look natural. She's going to be going to prom, she's going to be on camera and you want this to look as natural as possible. And after that, you're going to just wrap your frontal back down so the baby hair can continue to mold and form. And now you're just going to sew the frontal down like you would as any other time. Now that the frontal is sewed down in the back, you're going to take the Gats to Be spray and just continue to form your ponytail.
technique can only be used if you're relaxed because if you're natural eventually in a few minutes a few hours your hair is going to puff up inside the ponytail but this brand can be purchased from your local beauty supply store this is a 30 inch ponytail and it was only $14 and we got two of them because like I said she's going to prom and we need this to be perfect we need this to be extravagant over the top but at the same time still natural and elegant And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I say a lot of things are really, really easy, but this is honestly really, really easy. You're just going to take the bonding glue, put it on the weft, and wrap until it's complete. Now that we have both of the packs inside of her head, the ponytail is complete. And now we're going to just add the finishing touches. You're going to grab some hair from underneath in the back of the ponytail. And then get your Gots To Be spray. Spray it on there. Comb it out a little bit. And wrap. As you're wrapping, you want to take the blow dryer and blow dry it so it can form and so it can stay and not slide out. But continue to do everything that you see me doing. You want to spray, comb, wrap blow dry spray comb wrap blow dry There we have it the style is complete i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm going to attach a picture of her all dressed up all glammed up all dolled up for her prom and if you guys try this out make sure you let me know dm it to me on instagram text it to me whatever the case may be but i'll see you guys next time